hello everybody and welcome back to my channel today we are making a traditional four bedroom technically five bedroom home and in oasis spring near well i place this building oasis spring near where all the adobe style homes are um so yeah i feel like this is a classic family home it has three bedrooms upstairs that are being used as bedroom bedrooms and the one downstairs is an office and it has a good flow like living area and then uh, a nice little backyard area in the back and and it has a garage um, quotation mark <laughs> Um, you know, we can't use garages in Sims, uh, however, because most of the builds that I want to build have garages, I've decided to either turn them into like a gym or like a creative studio or something like with the piano so people can practice or like music or anything that's like creative, um, because I really do like want to build garages <laughs> but we because we can't use them so um but yeah this one this video is kind of long um i was going to split it up at first um but then I, I, like i said i don't know i did focus a lot on the outside uh the first half you'll notice it's like outside focus base and then i go into like furnishing and adding all the little details towards the end so yeah it was gonna be a split video um but i just decided to do it at one whole video um i'm not sure what you all like do you all like watching two parters or is like one whole video like pretty good i wanted to keep it under 20 minutes unfortunately this one is at 20 minutes so I did go over a little bit um, on my time that I was more comfortable with for you all. Um, me personally, I watch videos that are like 40 minutes long, <laughs> but that's just me. I don't know what you all like. Please let me know because um, that will determine if I should do a two-parter next time. But yeah, I try to focus a lot on like the roofing, so I did like half roofing because the house that i was basing it on had like the half roofing there and um i don't know if it had it in the back because the picture that i was looking at only had the front um as reference so like i wasn't sure if like the side roofs were the same or like the back was the same or anything um but yeah i just focused more on like just like the side roofing the the roofing on the top i honestly did not know like what to do because i've never built a house like this this is a new type of home for me um it is like here in california uh in southern california we do have like companies like uh kb homes that build like cookie cutter cookie cutter homes and this is what it kind of reminds me of like this build could probably go in willow creek and it will fit in easily no problem like you know that's what it reminds me of this house um but i don't know how the roofs on these houses are so i did struggle a little bit on the top um i don't show it to you guys <laughs> um because i did a lot of like editing and i always do a lot of like stupid like moves and i'm like oh yeah that does not look right <laughs> but yeah i feel like it came out good i feel like it came out really well I um, actually love it at the end. Uh, I really like how it turned out. I'm really proud of this build. I'm proud of myself for like finally making decent sized rooms, finally making a decent sized living room, a decent sized dining room. Like I don't over exaggerate on anything <laughs> and I'm really happy about that and I don't know I'm just proud of myself. A little tap on my back. <laughs> but yeah. Um, so yeah, you see me like focusing on the outside more instead of like going back and forth. Um, in order for me to do builds like this, it takes me like a couple days. So this was a pretty long video to edit. And I really love those bay windows. I hardly ever use them because I forget we have them. 
uh, and then like it just clicked I was like oh my gosh I should totally put those bay windows out there because I think they'll look so cute and it'll bring in a lot of like natural lighting um, and the only reason that it's an o oasis springs is because the sim that I have it in it's on the save file it's summer but every world that I've gone in Willow Creek Newcrest Burlington Bay it's been raining like during the summer and I'm like what the heck okay that sucks <laughs> but I really wanted like natural light to show off like the colors of the build um so I think I'm gonna be building an oasis springs more um however I would like to suggest kind of like recommendations like where I feel like this house will fit in and like I said before, uh, every time I build a house, I think of characters that will live here or like families that will live here and where this house would go. Like this house is totally Willow Creek. It's like cookie cutter Willow Creek home. Like I kind of want to like build like a neighborhood and have this house be first and then have like a bunch of cookie cutter homes with like perfect kids, but they're not so perfect because all the perfect kids are like all the kids that are quiet those are the ones you have to worry more about and trust me I know because I was one of those kids when I was a teenager I was super quiet uh, but I did do a lot of things that were like kind of like questionable I I was not like a bad child but because I was so quiet and yeah <laughs> but yeah those are that's the kind of like I really want to do a let's play like that that'll be so funny um, but I have to get a new computer because um, during this build if you do stick around towards the end uh, when I start doing all like the furnishing and stuff you'll see how bad my computer glitches it glitches <laughs> um, like the windows are glitching in the master bedroom master bathroom and then like all the items were glitching as well and I'm like, oh my god, I really need to upgrade. <laughs> like, I really need to get a job so that I can upgrade <laughs> this computer. Because I really want to do Let's Plays for you all. I feel like I have some good stories in here in my head. And I want to do them. <laughs> um, I don't keep the, the, um, the living room like that. Because in the picture that I was referencing, it was kind of like that. Like a little triangle um, type of living room. And I do have like a utility area where I do focus on and I could have cut it but I really like putting like the clutter items in there and kind of looks a little bit realistic and this is the first time I ever used carpet in my builds um, that carpet there it's carpet and then I change it to tile and but while I was editing I did see that it kind of looked better with carpet like a little bit of a separation so I changed it back to the carpet <laughs> but yeah I put all the rooms carpet and then because that's how my house was when I used to live in high school it had like hardwood downstairs and then for some reason like the formal dining room area had carpet I don't know why but um it was like hardwood downstairs and then the kitchen had tile and then the upstairs it was all carpeted like the rooms were all carpet um the laundry room was carpet and like the little den was carpet as well so that's how what kind of I was basing it on because in my neighborhood we all had cookie cutter homes also <laughs> so yeah that's what I was basing it on and it has a nice little backyard like deck like a little it doesn't have a nice backyard in this lot it's pretty small but the deck area it has a good amount of seating and it also flows into the dining room so if you want to throw a party like a dinner party or some kind of party for your sim um, there'll be like a lot of flow like a, fl a good flow from the outside to the inside and to the kitchen as well I really like how it flows from the kitchen to the dining and then to the outside little barbecue deck area. I tried to add as much light, like lighting out here. Um, I really like those little stringy lights. Uh, it didn't fit so one of them is like size down, <laughs> but that's okay. Um, so yeah, you see how I focused a lot on like the building and then I started furnishing. Um, 
but yeah the dining room it's a little it's a pretty decent size i think the bay windows make it look a little bit bigger than it actually is which is why i really love these bay area windows and i was trying to put a window there but it really bothers me when it's not symmetrical <laughs> like a lot it bothers me so much when it's like not symmetrical and so sometimes my houses will be a little bit too symmetrical and I'm like that does not look natural it does not look normal at all <laughs> but yeah I'm already uh thinking of head uh, of head <laughs> ahead of what kind of builds I would like to build for you all I'm kind of thinking of doing like a modern like a big modern house I have done like tiny homes or not tiny homes but like decent sized homes um but yeah i'm thinking of building something like that and i've never used these cabinets before ever in my whole sim sim playing life and i was trying to make it so that the window can still shine some light so it does cut off at the bottom but the light kind of comes through towards there and i did the pets pets um couches because i want it it to look a little bit like put together and then here's where i change it to tile and i really like that coffee table i'm so glad we got that coffee table i did i did size it down because i felt like it was a little bit too big um it's actually a pretty small little living area which is fine you know it's a pretty dis like i said it's not awkwardly spaced out which is what i've noticed with my houses they're a bit awkwardly spaced out and um, i'm learning to do different kind of builds different kind of flows um yeah and if you want to turn this downstairs area into a bedroom you can totally fit a shower in there if you like and this can definitely be a room like a small room I was able to fit a bookshelf so i'm pretty sure you can fit like a small bed in there or something but you can definitely turn it into a bedroom that's fine be like a five bedroom home and then right there there is a coat closet there and i did not test if your sim can use the bathroom but i'm pretty sure they'll be fine <laughs> So yeah, these are the two bedrooms. Uh, this this one right here is actually the teen bedroom, and then the other one will be the kid bedroom. And it has a laundry room, laundry room upstairs. Um, yeah, that's how the that's how my house was too. My laundry room. It's always good to have laundry room upstairs because then you don't have to go up and down the stairs to like wash and dry your clothes. Like in real life. Like I want a house like that that has a laundry room upstairs. Although going up and down the stairs will be a good workout. So yeah, I went with like hardwood, like the deep, dark hardwood. Um, I always want to use the vampire ones, the ones that go like side to side. Um, but then I feel like they don't really look good unless it's like an older like mansion type or maybe like a deck type, like a deck. <laughs> I feel like those kind of those kind of um floors look good on the decks so yes here i did separate the bathroom from the washing area and the bathroom and the master but master suite bedroom sorry um so yeah the master bedroom is pretty spacious um i could have fit like a little couch like a little seating area there but i didn't <laughs> um I did focus more on the kids rooms um, adding all like the little details and stuff like that so yeah <laughs> I don't know I was going through um, all the all the items that we have and trying to figure out what goes best with what and yeah I really like that that bed that bed right there like I want that in real life because if to me in my head i imagine it to be like a kid's bed <laughs> i don't know why like a teenager this teen uh she's very um she's very she's very studious she loves school she's into scouts and she loves the violin and she wants to go to like a good college that's what i imagine when i built that room <laughs> or like decorated that room I, I did do like a little sauna area. I did put the little meditation thing. If you have the spa expansion, a spa pack, I mean, not expansion. Um, I really love that. 
I can I wish I could do that in real life like go meditate and do yoga but I can't <laughs> I can't afford that kind of lifestyle unfortunately so yeah here's the utility utility area I just put those little decoration boxes which it did not occur to me until I did this build that I can actually do those because your sim can actually interact with those boxes so I can literally fill the whole garage full of those boxes <laughs> And your sim will just be stocked up on, you know, Christmas deck or any decorations. And so, yeah, I added a lot of detail into this room, um, the little utility room, just because I wanted it to look a little bit realistic. Like I really did. Um, excuse me, I'm going to drink some water. <laughs> My voice is like breaking. Um, if you guys don't have seasons, that is the pack I really recommend because I've said this before so many times but seasons adds so much depth into your game like finally after like who knows how long we like get different things in the game and I have not been able to explore it because I've been building and like the settings that I want the game to be in I cannot like play with it but yeah, like seasons is just awesome like it adds so much to your game and if you're a if you're a, a player that just likes to play for like stories and stuff like that I feel like seasons adds a lot of value to your game uh, like if you get bored easily um, I just build <laughs> I just build all the time but uh, my boyfriend he has a better computer than me so I might you just use his to play like to write a story unfortunately I cannot record a, a let's play at his house but <laughs> but yeah I really really want to I have so many stories like I just thought of one just now with the like the cookie cutter neighborhood story like I really want to do that so bad and like I really want to do the one with the Keiths um, my Keiths family it is up on the gallery I mean they are up on the gallery if you want to download them and the story with them it, they were gonna be like a family who lived in San Maishuno and then the mom just tragically dies and then so the husband is like left to raise their daughter like by himself and he moves away from the city because there's just way too many memories of his wife and he wants to like go off and start a new life as a gardener and like a florist a fl a fl I don't know what they're called <laughs> he wants to make flowers and but he doesn't think that it's enough money to keep him and his daughter like out, like with the lifestyle that they lived in San Maishuno and sh the the wife was like a lot more successful than him and and like all her money went on to her trust fund for her college so you know that money cannot be touched so he has to find the balance between working like doing his passion and then working to support his daughter and then like also getting over like his wife's death so that was the story that I was going to do for you all, but I have not, like, look at that, so glitchy. <laughs> like, I've not been able to do that, unfortunately, but yeah. Um, if you all want to download um, my family, again, the Keats family, it is up on the gallery. And if you want to download this house, it will be up on the gallery under Bubbly Simi. Um, I'm thinking of adding hashtags throughout my house. So I'm probably going to do like hashtag bubbly simmy and then hashtag like cookie cutter home or something like that. I will let you all. I mean, yeah, <laughs> it's all up on my social media as well on my it's up on my Twitter under bubbly simmy and then up on Instagram under bubby simmy. Um, I used to put like little hint pictures, but then yeah. I don't know I just promote my pictures and you'll see all the pictures of my builds and stuff but yeah if you want like any updates and stuff 
Um, also, if you'd like to know when I come out with more builds, go ahead and click the subscribe button. Go ahead and hit the little bell. And please give me a big thumbs up for this video. And thank you all so much for watching and have a bubbly day.